I started off life as a nurse, but I've actually been in, in academia for around about 30 years now. To have become a prof as a woman in the university sector, whether it was in Ireland or Scotland or England, was relatively unusual. It's beginning to change, but it's changing very slowly. Finding great mentors, people who will support you and encourage you and really push you to take the next step has been hugely inspirational and supportive to me. So I've learnt a lot from my own journey and in particular the value of me also stepping forward and mentoring and encouraging other women to put themselves forward and realise their ambitions, whatever they are. My day to day is looking after the planning for the budget for the university. Just to put it into perspective, that's circa 200 million. I then have to prepare reports and information so that the senior managers can use that information in order to help them make their strategic decisions for the university. My research is in the area of public sector, human resource management, leadership and learning and development. I'm also head of the discipline of management in the Kieran School of Business and Economics. My research focuses predominantly on breast and endocrine cancers and that's closely aligned to my areas of, of clinical interest. In the School of Medicine, we are quite progressive in terms of gender diversity and equality. There are a number of females in professorship positions and in leadership positions as heads of department and even our head of school. I came here because uh, the Regenerative Medicine Institute was being set up. We were able to develop something from scratch. Literally, there wasn't a, a test tube in the lab back in 2004. But now we have um, many, many PIs here, all producing fairly impressive work. My focus has been developing regenerative medicine therapeutics for osteoarthritis. We have been trying to look at stem cells and to develop therapies and have been quite successful with that. I work with a remotely operated vehicle, which is like an unmanned submarine um, with cameras, and we explore the ocean floor. And there's lots of interesting things on the ocean floor. We particularly see corals and sponges, and we look for medicinal uses from these. I was awarded the Irish Research Council Researcher of the Year. It's recognition of years of research that we've done on osteoporosis, and in particular, recognition of the hard work of my PhD students and postdocs. I'm proud of the role that I have played in advancing the equality agenda uh, in recent years. It takes time for people to see and believe that change is happening. I believe it is, and I believe it will continue to happen. The future for me in regards to NUI Galway, it's a feminist future. It's uh, one where openness and respect are critical to how we operate, be that in regards to students, in regards to our research, which should be driven in many ways by equality and questions of equality. I think no matter what happens next, like the most important things moving forward or what will be essential is really cultivating and deepening an ethic of care and a culture of kindness. I think care and kindness go beyond metrics and measurements and it should be something that we feel that's integral to what we do and, and how we do it. Ta a shacht níhil a níhann of ag fúrin halscaile le córas a thíne swan a níhvistach i góras na halscaile agus an is gairig an is gal cún cín o hev an chóin an ista. Ta sé haráim is a hiannaf. Ta sé mar hualgas ar nol halscaile is a hiannaf agus is bráilim gar le fáun a ta bainistíocht na halscaile agus fúrin na halscaile i gcuid na aíonaf son. I've been really inspired by the work and journeys of pioneering women in the late 19th, early 20th century. And those women faced structural barriers far higher than anything I've ever faced. But they were very focused once they reached their goals of turning back and helping other women to achieve their goals. When you see it, you can be it. And I think we see very often here at NUI Galway as part of our buildings, for example, with the Alice Perry Building in Engineering, of the Emily Anderson Concert Hall. And we also have colleagues who are role models in their disciplines and in their world for men and women. Diversity is a strength not only for the university itself, but we symbolize diversity in society as well.